Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange, and you're watching the Hank Strange situation. Every now and then, I throw up some videos about how I actually conduct my YouTube channel and make all these videos. One of the tools that we use are GoPros, and um, GoPros been <laughs> going through some trials and tribulations lately with the failure of their Karma drone. One of the cool things that did come out of that, you know, they had to recall the drone and all that, so we're waiting to find out what's going to happen with it. One of the cool things that came out of it was this, the GoPro Karma Grip. So basically, it is a stabilizing grip for your GoPro so that you can get really smooth pictures on the go with your GoPro. Now, they made this available where you can buy just the grip and it's $299. One of the things with it is is that when you buy this, you're going to have to use the new GoPro 5, the Hero 5, right? And that's what we've got in ours. We're going I'm just going to take this out here. There you go. All right, so you have to use the new GoPro 5 that comes along with it because of this, the harness. So I've seen quite a few videos on this, and, and usually in the videos, there's guys saying that these screws here, if you can see the screws that are inside, you know, those screws that are inside the harness is what you need to remove so that you can put a different GoPro in there. So let's say you want to buy this harness, and you don't want to have to buy a GoPro Hero 5 in order to use it. You can get a harness from GoPro that you can put in your GoPro Hero 4. Okay, so this is what that comes uh, comes like. This is what the box looks like. Works for the Hero 4 Black and Hero 4 Silver. Okay, now I'll just let me just let's just open this up. Show what comes inside the box. You've got some instructions and uh, a warning card from GoPro saying you must update your camera software. And they also want you to update the software on the Karma Grip. So, surprisingly, when I look at this, it's not these screws inside the harness. It's actually two screws that are on, on the outside that you have to remove, then remove the harness, then you put in the new harness, put the screws back in. So inside the packaging, you get a harness, and th that's what your... Hero 4, Hero 4 Silver or Black will connect to. And here's where the screws are going into. Comes with an Allen wrench, because there are Allen screws, and it looks like there's uh, two screws that comes in there. I'm not sure yet whether or not we can reuse the screws. Let's uh, let's jump into it and, and do this thing. So what we're removing are these two right here. Okay, so let's take those out. This is my first time doing it. I have not done a test run, as I usually don't. You know, I'm not really concerned with being perfect for the YouTubes. So, plus, I don't want to do this a ton of times. Although, if it's easy enough, I'm probably going to switch back and forth since I do, of course, have both of them now. So, According to the instructions, you remove those screws and then you you push this, you can pull this off. So let's see how that works. There you go. So it comes off like that. Removed it. Put it over to the sad. And then you should just be able to uh, snap it on there like that. Push it in. And let's try you reusing these screws and see if there's any problems with that. I mean, they might have just included those screws just in case you lose those. Which can happen when you're out in the field. If you happen to be out in the field and you switch these things and all kinds of crazy stuff, I'm constantly losing equipment like that. So there you go looks like it's all switched over that's on there the screws are holding all right so stand by I'm gonna grab a GoPro let me see if this GoPro works or I've got to put a backup battery in it 
Okay, probably no battery in there. No, there is a battery. Not working. Let's take that out and throw in a battery here. I mean, we don't really need it for what we're going to do, but we I want to see whether or not it works. And actually, the uh, the Karma Grip is supposed to be able to charge that battery for you as well. So, okay. So there we go. So that's working. Right? And uh, let me shut it off real quick. See what it does when we put it in there. So now, GoPro Hero 4 Black should be able to just slide in there and the connectors will mate up with each other. Now, if you're wondering if you can have your 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 uh, GoPro with uh, accidentally turned it on. If you're wondering if you can have your GoPro and then at the same time put one of the battery backpacks on it or put a monitor backpack on it and put it in this harness, the answer to that question is going to be no. There's obviously no room for that. So you put it in like that, slide it in, it's connected. Let's see, there we go, all the way, it's connected in. Close it down. There we go. It's gripping on now. See, it's off. All right, so now with the uh, with the grip, you can just hit your power button, and that should turn it on. Yep, so you just heard the beeps, which means it just turned on the GoPro. Let me see if I can lock it here and turn this around so that you can see it. Okay, that's not working too good because <laughs> of the stabilization. But there you go. So, GoPro Hero 4 on the Karma Grip, working, doing all the things it's supposed to do. Moving it around. You can, you've can. you got your record button right there and uh, obviously power mode and uh, all that good stuff. This is to highlight, so if something, you're shooting some video and you know that's a point that you want to go back to when you're editing, you can hit the highlight button, you know, you can hit the record button, and that starts it recording. So you can see the red, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see the red light flashing in there, it's recording, and then you hit it. That stops it recording. Very cool, so let me let me shut this down now. Hold it, shut it off, and then it goes limp. And uh, we can take it out, pull it out of there, and then if we want to switch back to the GoPro Hero 5, let's see how long it takes to remove these screws. And go back the other way and put it back into GoPro 5 mode. be nice if this was magnetic and then we could just pull these screws out but that is not the case here there we go actually it's gripping onto it shows you how terrible I am I gotta go a little bit more and then it takes it out so that's good and then you just pull this off there you go goes back on over this molding and it's got a slot and all that kind of stuff in there for it. It's in. Put the screws in. So now, if you're if you wonder if you're wondering out there, can you use this with the session? Um, GoPro is going to have one of these harnesses for the session. I don't know how far back they're going to go. So like a GoPro three and all that kind of stuff. If you can, if they'll have something for that, I don't know. But they're definitely going to have one for the little tiny baby session I don't have one of those haven't used them um, I think there's some you know there's some folks that actually like using those because they're so small and easy to use so okay there we go that's in so now we can just take the five plug it back in the f uh, you gotta put it <laughs> you have to don't be like me put this in properly okay you gotta make sure this is all sliding in properly lining up I know the, um, I think the Silver 4 has a monitor backpack in it, but the 5 definitely comes with a monitor backpack. So there we go. It's in. Let's uh, power it up here, see what happens. 
There we go. Power's on. You know, and the monitor and everything is on. And if you want to hit record, you can hit record on it. And that beep indicates that it's recording video. I definitely, and you can stop it, and then uh, shut it all down by holding the grip, the, the, holding the, the power button, and then it goes limp. So there you go. Um, you know what? I like this so far, and I like the fact that it's modular. You can put different GoPros in it. It'll be cool if they came up with um, a harness that you can put other similar things into, but I doubt GoPro is going to do that, right? Because they hate the competition. <laughs> so I don't think they're going to do that. But there you go. Pretty easy. Just two screws that you take out, remove the old harness, put in the new harness, put the screws back in, good to go. I like the fact that it can charge your GoPro. So if you're running low on batteries, you can run off of the GoPro grip. Pretty cool. I will do more videos on this stuff as time goes on. I just wanted to share this really quickly quickly with you guys in case you're wondering before you get into all of this, can you use it with other GoPros? You can with the Hero 4 and soon with the Session. All right, this is Hank Strange. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you like these Sevis Passim Parabellum patches that we've got here, Lola selling these on eBay, just go look for Hank Strange, Sevis, Passim, Parambellum, PVC patches on eBay. You can find those, and that helps to support the Hank Strange situation. All right, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace out.